With the release of Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker, and the conclusion of the Skywalker saga as a whole, the future of Star Wars is pretty much all in Disney and Lucasfilm's court. They are no longer telling the story that George Lucas started over 40 years ago. Even though a lot of people enjoyed the sequel trilogy made by Disney, will Disney be able to make something organic and make fans both new and old love the direction of Star Wars? This is Darth Sora and today we're going to discuss if Disney can be successful with the original new Star Wars story. Now, talking about what we know currently, we know we won't be getting a new film from Lucasfilm and Disney for about 3 years in 2022. Nothing is known about the direction or the story that they're going to tell, but I certainly hope it's something new, organic, and doesn't stray too much away from the Star Wars formula. Now, we also know that Kathleen Kennedy and Bob Iger have both stated that they aren't sure if these new Star Wars films will follow the trilogy format or move on to something new. They're pretty unsure since the Star Wars films have always been told in this way and it's what the fans have come to know and love. Now, I personally feel like Disney can create something fresh and new and have it be great as long as they have the right people involved and plan correctly since the sequel trilogy felt like it had no real direction and The Rise of Skywalker pretty much had to fix a lot of mistakes and, you know, backtrack a lot. Star Wars is such an amazing universe and there's so much to go into and so many creative ways to show off the galaxies that I have a really hard time believing they won't do a good job. But to be fair, I mostly did enjoy the sequel trilogy with the exception of The Last Jedi and I know a lot of people didn't. So there's a lot of valid reasons why people will be skeptical if Disney will do a good job. But me personally, I think they have it in them. Obviously Disney is a huge company, they know what they're doing. But the sequel trilogy kind of just felt rushed. Uh, they switched directors and it didn't really work out. And they kind of had to just cram everything into episode 9, which episode 9 needed to be like a 4 or 5 hour movie to really do it justice. But I think with the direction that they had to go in and what they needed to tell, they did a really good job. So, obviously, with Disney Plus and The Mandalorian, that is a great series. John Farro is like really good uh at least you know he's a huge star wars nerd same thing with jj abrams so i feel like if people are really really big star wars fans they can do a great job they just need like the time the direction and you know to be able to work with who they need to work with especially with george lucas for you know however long we still have him george lucas is obviously a lot older now and i feel like him speaking out since the sequel trilogy has happened, I feel like there's a lot of regret inside George Lucas that the fact that he sold it to Disney and they went in a completely different direction than he would have, he kind of felt burned and he, you know, he said, speaking uh, to who was his name, James Cameron, that, you know, he wished that he told the story from beginning to end, even if people hated it, that at least the story would have been told the way it was supposed to and not with what happened with the sequel trilogy by Disney. And I know for The Mandalorian, George Lucas has been pretty involved. You know, he comes on set, he answers questions. And I feel like if they're going to make a new story, they need to talk to the man, the myth, the legend, George Lucas, and get some of his opinions and, you know, get that going. Because right now, they have a clean slate to do something new, make it amazing, and pretty much bridge the gap that kind of got created between the old fans and the new fans. Especially, there's a lot of like hateful, I mean, I don't personally agree with it, but a lot of the older fans just really did not like what Disney did with the sequel trilogy. And I feel like they have a chance to finally redeem themselves. I feel like The Mandalorian is doing that well. The Kenobi uh, TV show that they're gonna be doing, uh, definitely really good chance to bring and bridge the gap between like, you know, within the Star Wars community. But with a whole new story that they're gonna tell, you know, if that's the direction they go in, they have, you know, the whole world, you know, the, the world is their oyster. So I really believe in them. And let's see what they do. 2022 is not too far away. Obviously it's three years from now, but there's a lot of things, you know, that we've waited for in the past. You know, me being a fan of many different game series and movies and stuff like that. Like, I love the prequels. I watched the Star Wars movies as a little kid way before the prequels came out. Well, not way before, like a few years before they came out. And then the prequels came out, and now as an adult, I've been waiting since the prequels till now for the sequel trilogy to come out. And, you know, it's been a long journey, so I can definitely wait three years as long 
as they know what they're doing and they take their time I have high hopes for this so tell me guys what do you guys think about if Disney can be successful with the Star Wars trilogy uh, or Star Wars story in general you know making it new and organic what do you guys think do you guys have high hopes or are you kind of burnt from uh, you know the sequel trilogy and do not have any faith in them let me know in the comments below and as always may the force be with you and have a great day peace